what to do in your direct sales business now. Today, I have five things that I wanna share with you so that you can keep your direct sales business thriving. I'm Gail Bates, CEO of MyMentorBiz.com, where I help leaders grow a million dollar teams and help them scale and grow their business with systems and strategies that bring results. So if you're new here today, I'd love you to hit that subscribe button and I come back here twice a week and leave you some tips on growing your direct sales business. So I was thinking everybody's at home and many of my coaching clients are leaders and they're finding that their team members are becoming a little inactive. So I decided to come up with 25 things that you can do right now in your direct sales business. And I made a little handout here, which has a link below that you can download for free. So, but today I wanna to share with you five of those things that I think are really important. So the first one is to reach out to customers. If you have, have you kind of feeling frozen, it's great. They want to hear from you, even if it's just how are you doing? Okay, many of my clients are doing this right now and having great results. They're getting sales, they're getting people who are ready to join because they're reaching out to their customers and having a conversation. Okay, it is deepening relationships with people, whether they are by or not. It's just that people are at home and they want to talk. So, um, that's my first recommendation is make yourself a list and start connecting with people. And I do recommend you connect via phone or connect via uh, FaceTime uh, or video um, rather than just a text. Because just a text is like any other text, but you will stand out when you reach out via phone and say, hey, how are you doing? I was thinking about you. And just have a conversation. And don't even bring anything up about your business or your, your products that they will bring it up. So that's number one. Number two is to, it is actually um, number five uh, in the 25 of the list. And it's about reading a book. And, you know, we have time to do that. And one of the books I'm recommending to all of my clients right now is called The Magic. And it's by Rhonda Byrne. And it's a book of gratitude. It's got 28 days of exercises you can do. I have done this. I'm actually redoing this that really helps you get through a time like this. And it starts off with exercise number one, she calls it count your blessings exercise. First thing in the morning, you make a list of 10 blessings in your life, blessings that you are grateful for, and write why you're grateful for each blessing. Once you've done that, you go back and read your list, either in your mind or you can read it out loud. And when you get to the end of each one, you just say, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a beautiful thing to be grateful for your health and your family right now. So I would highly recommend reading this book. So that is actually number five on the list of the 25. Uh, number six on the list is to revisit your goals, okay? Now, April uh, is the first month of the second quarter of the year. And you may have had a specific goal set out for you for this month, and you're gonna to have to rearrange your goals, okay? So um, make sure that you, and I truly believe you can hit the goal you want if you really wanna work your business online right now. In fact, I just did a masterclass, and I'll put the link to that below, on how to take your party from offline to online, and it's been very, very popular. So uh, revisit your goals for April. Um, do a little tweaking, do a little adjusting, figure out how you're going to hit that and, and make it happen. Take the action to make it happen. Okay, so number 11 of the 25 is to find an online networking group. Now is the time, and I've actually been talking about this for a long time because I've been on Zoom a long time um, and I've been uh, online with my coaching business actually 10 years, networking and growing clients around the world. And uh, with direct sellers right now, this is a great time to be adding to your team and networking online. So find some groups, okay, that are going to 
um, the uh, uh, groups about business chambers of commerce are looking are now doing everything online so that you can begin to make new friends. In fact, my next masterclass is about virtual networking. Okay, so that's number eleven. That's the uh, the fourth one. Yes. So the fifth one is a one I've recommended for years with my clients, and they have great success when they do it. Is you have your little catalogs. And now's the time to create what I call a catalog campaign. So every Monday, you want to uh, choose five to 10 people who would love your catalog, haven't seen it yet. Write a note that goes with the catalog that says, hey, Susie, I was thinking about you today, and I wanted to send you this catalog because on page five, there's this product that I think you'll really love. Or what, you know, be specific about the product. And then every Thursday, so you send these out Monday in the mail. Every Thursday, you follow up. And you have to schedule this on your calendar. And every Thursday, you follow up. And you say, hey, Susie, did you get my catalog in the mail? I'm, let's, let's look at that page. And let's talk about what that, uh, how I think that would really help you out. And this little catalog campaign is going to bring you future business. It's gonna bring you future sales, future bookings, and future people who might be interested right now in joining your team. So those are the five things just to review. Number one, reach out to customers. Number two, read a book. I recommend The Magic and get into that 28 days of gratefulness. Uh, number three, revisit your goals. Uh, look at April and maybe even look at what May and June are going to look like because they are going to be different than when you originally thought. Then number 11, find a networking group online. And the last one is create a catalog campaign. So your call to action today is to leave me a message below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I've got some great things coming up for you in the in the future more often because we're more online right now. But your call to action today is to leave me a little message that says which one of these five you're going to start with. Are you going to start with reaching out to customers? Are you going to start with reading The Magic or any other book? Are you going to start with revisiting your goals? Are you going to start with net finding a networking group? Or are you going to start with a catalog campaign? Let me know. I'm really, I'd be interested in knowing. Have a great day.